Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to do a bit of a shop with me video. I'm going to take you along as we go to Sephora and Ulta. We might drop by TJ Maxx, maybe Target, and see what is new out there in the makeup world. If anything piques my interest, I'll show you. I know for sure that I want to go into Sephora and show you as many blushes as I possibly can and swatch them all for you in case that helps you make a decision on which blush shades you want and of course I might come home with some at the end of today's video I'm going to show you anything that I end up grabbing. I'm very excited to see all of these new blush releases in person and swatch the different shades of blush and see what I wanna take home with me. So if you like this type of video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. Also bear with me because I'm really not good at filming in public, okay? <laughs> um, anyways, let me know if you still like this type of video down in the comment section and let's go shopping. First stop was obviously Sephora. I was with my best friend and her son, so I was taking care of the stroller for the day. First thing we see when we walk in is this stand right here and that Say Beauty blushes that I reviewed in a recent video. If you haven't watched that, check them out. These are beautiful. They have the greatest texture while still being very shimmery. Anyways, I ran for this tower because this is what I was looking for right here. All of the new blushes that have come out, I wanted to swatch them all to show you them because I was not about to buy all of these blushes for my channel. We are going to swatch them today and I'm going to show you what they look like starting with these Mario blushes. These are the four colors that they had on display. Barely Blushing, Perfect Pink, Rose Crush, and Just Peachy from left to right and that is what they look like swatched. Moving on to the Armani ones which I already did try one of these. We have euphoric ecstasy mystery and amour from left to right and that's the way i swatched them as well of course i did already try amour on my channel a few weeks ago on a video and i'm glad that that's the shade that i chose because it is my favorite one out of all of these swatches here it is a beautiful beautiful pink shade moving on to this nars display i did end up getting one of these the blushes are orgasm Behave, Dolce Vita, and Insatiable from left to right. And take a look at the stunning swatches. I could not leave the store without one of these. I'm not going to tell you which one I got, but you feel free to guess in the comment section if you know my taste, which blush did I get. These look beautiful. I couldn't leave the store without one. And then we went to the Urban Decay display because i wanted to see their new liquid blushes they have six but they only had testers for four so i swatched the four that they had which from left to right are wrecked dripping obsessed and unhinged and after i blended them out a little bit um this is what they look like on the back of my hand a little bit softer i really liked wrecked in this case but I ended up not going for one of these then we walked around the skincare section a little bit I was checking out super goop I was checking out the Sol de Janeiro stuff I always hear so much buzz about these products and I have not yet tried them well I've had a couple samples but I haven't ever gotten a full one of those so maybe I should one day anyways i just wanted to show you around the store the skincare section looked really nice and i also loved this next big thing display right here because they had a lot of interesting brands that i don't know much about so i ended up not getting anything from there because i'm good on skincare but all of the bottles looked beautiful and i'm always intrigued to try new skincare products Anyways, this right here is me in a not-so-secret mission. My husband is obsessed with Cinnabon, so I had to give him a box. Well, I got it for the house. Not for me, though. I hate cinnamon. <laughs> Next, we stopped at Ulta, of course. This is not the same Ulta I brought you to on my last Shop With Me video. This is a different one. The first thing when we walked in was this Radiant Shape Tape Concealer display that Tarte had up front. I really like this concealer. I have a review video on it up on my channel if you guys haven't seen it yet. We walked around the store for a while and I honestly couldn't find anything new and exciting that I wanted to show you. So 
I just went <laughs> for the tree hut stuff because I needed some more of my shaving oil. This is the tree hut display right here. And I ch changed my scent. I usually always get the Moroccan rose one and I went for the tropical one because, you know, it's summer. <laughs> so that's fun. I, I love this stuff for shaving my legs. It's super smooth. Um, this is my friend Andrea. She found uh, some gems at the Colourpop section. She was showing me these shadow jelly things and she's gonna swatch them in the back of her hand for us in a second because they are super super glimmery shiny she ended up grabbing two shades i think she wanted more for some reason i decided against them but i keep thinking about them um since i have the clip of the swatches um have you guys tried these jelly mash eyeshadows from Colourpop because they honestly looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> We hit up Target afterwards, but I gotta say my Target doesn't really have a fun and exciting beauty section. They have the old regular beauty section and nothing drugstore was like new and exciting that I wanted to see. So honestly, we did walk around every single makeup aisle, but I ended up leaving Target with some like toilet cleaning stuff. Nothing in the makeup section was really speaking to me that much at target so we ended up leaving kind of empty-handed i do really wish that my target gets an upgrade and we get an ulta inside target situation because i've seen videos of those and those look like a lot of fun but this makeup section a little boring to be honest with you I forgot to take a clip, enter in TJ Maxx, but here we are and Andrea found some Pat McGrath palettes. I've told you guys before, my TJ Maxx doesn't really have Pat McGrath palettes or Pat, like good makeup collections like that. And we can now confirm it because we found three different Pat McGrath palettes, every single one of them outside of its box they were retailing for 35 dollars. we did end up finding a box afterwards but every single one of them had been opened and every single one of them had been touched which is heartbreaking because this could have gone to someone who wanted it why why are we opening boxes and touching makeup like that um so yeah a bit of a disappointing um, find at TJ Maxx. We also found these Pat McGrath body glows right here. They were also open. Oh, so frustrating. We did end up buying some things at TJ Maxx. I bought this amazing fragrance set that I'll have to show you for my mother-in-law. Um, I'll ask her for it back so I can show you it at the end of this video. I also wanted this instant bronzer SPF 30 thing, so I bought it. I need to try it. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> and I also found these Epsom salts right here that sounded amazing. So I got me the coconut one, the relaxing coconut Epsom salts from Epsoak. Then I browsed my favorite section at TJ Maxx, which is the home section and like the cooking section. I love, love, love the containers and the pans and the cutting tables, all of that. So I walked around this section for a little bit and then um, we just ended up going home. I mean, we went to like four different stores, which is a lot for a two-year-old. He behaved so good during our shopping trip. We were so proud of him. <laughs> but he finally said enough is enough and we had to quit shopping. <laughs> I'm back at home, so let me just show you the things I got. At Ulta, I needed a restock of my makeup removers from Neutrogena. I get these um, gentle, extra hydrating ones. I don't take my makeup off with this every night. That is not what I use them for, but they are very helpful when I'm doing eye looks to like clean underneath the eye if there was any fallout or if I need to change my eye looks because I'm filming a video, I do use these to just wipe off the eyeshadow off of my eyes in order to apply new one but this is not something that I use all over my face my skin is way too sensitive for this I prefer to use a makeup melter for that but anyways I needed a restock and I got a restock of it and then the other thing I got from Ulta I already mentioned and it is the moisturizing shave oil from Tree Hut and I got a new scent it is called Tropi Glow and it smelled really lovely i like it um if you have not tried the tree hot 
shaving oils yet. I highly recommend them. They leave your skin hydrated and they provide the best slip for your razor. You get a much closer shave with this stuff. I was, I feel like a bit late to the game in trying this one, but once I tried it, this is now my third bottle, I think. I love it. From TJ Maxx, I got these Epsoak Natural Collection Relaxing Coconut Epsom Salts, which I'm excited to use in my bathtub. This house where I moved last August has a community pool that I'm excited to use and I'm also excited to hopefully get my tan on. So I got this to try it. It is from Australian Gold. I found it at TJ Maxx, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it. It has an SPF of 30 and it helps to get a bronze, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also got these super cute hair setting clips right here for when I'm filming videos. I got them in black and white because I am so boring. <laughs> Also from TJ Maxx, I got some glass Tupperware, but I left it downstairs. I've been trying to change all of my Tupperware at home from plastic to glass. So every time I go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I come home with some glass Tupperware. <laughs> As I said in the voiceover, I couldn't find anything fun at Target in the makeup section. I literally came home with like things I needed to clean my toilet, but I did also get something that is makeup related ish and that is these right here these are from dr broner's it is their castle soap bars i love the lavender scented ones and this is what i use to clean my brushes when i wash them and also much more often i use it to clean my makeup sponges these are also a staple for me i always have to have back stock off them I did also end up getting some things at Sephora, but I'm going to be a total tease and I'm going to leave it for my Sephora haul video because I ordered things online and I got things at Sephora and so I want to just do like a Sephora haul video where I try everything, so I'm not going to show you what I got at Sephora just yet. If you guys enjoyed this shop with me type video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to let me know down below because I feel like I'm really bad at filming these i definitely need to improve my outside of this room filming methods and i did a voiceover once again because there was noise in the stores there were people talking next to us there was music so i couldn't really talk while i was out again i need to improve my outside of this room filming methods don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i have a sephora haul coming that i am very excited about where i'm going to be trying some new makeup thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you back in the next one bye